Our system, Armora, is able to track and classify a variety of arm and hand gestures for interactive purposes. Our proof of concept system is ceiling mounted. However, the techniques we describe apply to worn on body systems in general. Here we see live video shot from above. Because skin is reflective to infrared light, we can segment the arms. This is what is used for classification. Amora can also classify different configurations of the arms, providing an independent set of gestures from that of the hands. Finally, an overhead digital projector allows for interactive graphical content to be rendered on the skin. Using Amora as a vehicle for investigation, we explored dozens of applications and interactions. Please refer to the paper for complete details. The very simplest interfaces require essentially no interaction. For example, if lost in a museum, simply raising one's hands could cause a map to be rendered into the user's palm. This can be readily extended so that the hands act like a peephole display, where users can pan around by translating their hands. In this example, tucking in the thumb toggles meta-information. Position of the arms can also be used in a modal fashion. Here, directions to different exhibits are shown based on where the hand is located relative to the user's body. This music player serves as a more sophisticated example. Mode is controlled by moving the hands side to side. Volume level and song position can be manipulated by rocking the hands forwards and backwards. In general, arm and hand gestures and position can readily support the larger class of menuing, that is, graphical browsing and selection of different functions. Simple menus could be supported gesturally, as can be seen here by flipping the hand, or positionally. Here, crossing gestures, which rely solely on position, are used to navigate a hierarchical menu. With both positional and gestural capabilities, we begin to see more familiar menuing, similar to that of desktop class interaction. For example, it is possible to scroll and click through a hierarchical menu by gesturing with and translating the hands. The unique form and flexibility of our bodies enables interactive surfaces beyond conventional rigid planar surfaces. For example, instead of scrolling linear lists, we can use our hands synergistically to instantiate a book metaphor for navigation. As we discuss in the paper, there are many arm configurations with unique mechanical and musculoskeletal constraints which have interesting implications for interface design. Finally, hand position and gestural state can be digitized much like a computer mouse, providing a cursor with several actions. Here, a user draws a virtual tattoo on their left hand. The right hand controls the cursor and also sets the brush thickness and color. Considerations like clutching and control device gain are discussed in the paper.